Hey everybody, hope you're having a great turkey season so far. Wanted to take a second and just give you a little intro to this video. I'm in New Hampshire right now. Um, New Hampshire season opens tomorrow. We've been hunting Massachusetts for the last week. So this video is actually gonna be my wife's first kill here. Uh, she came up for a couple days for the opener, um, hunted a couple days and we had a bunch of action packed hunts. But I also wanted to get, take a minute and say we got a bunch of our hats are in stock on our facebook page so if you go over to our facebook click on the shop i'll put a link down in the description you guys can check them out and we appreciate all the support you can give it really helps us out a lot um and if you want to support the channel it's a great way to do it so let's get right to it massachusetts opening day this is our first northeastern turkey video and i think you guys are going to enjoy it let's see who we have here new york people has got here Setting up a camp. In the lawn. What's up, New York people? What's up? Here we are again. Back for some New England turkey action. Yeah, Nikki hasn't been here in two years though. She missed last year. <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. Hopefully the for weather sure. cooperates. I hope Does it so. not look like it's going to? Yeah. First two days is gonna be okay, then it's gonna rain. So Perfect. we'll see. Well, she's only here for two days, yeah. so. Mm -hmm. yeah. You brought the sunshine. Honestly, all that matters. Oh, no, I'm just yeah. kidding. Now we get back to work. Camper's back. <laughs> Where are we going? Jay's got his tent. You getting close? Yeah, I need help. You need help? Yeah. All right. Maybe like stand this thing up. All right, I'm gonna help Jay. What do you think about all this? Hmm? Good. Good? Yeah. Okay. up behind there but now it's all um, <laughs> logged out all right all right so what's going on we got a bird up here the back side of this field on the ridge he's in a good area he's had a, a buddy with him the last few mornings but I don't see the other one so I'm wondering if it's a different bird I think you this want to shoot is, that one? Well, I thought that was Jay's. Oh, that's Jay's? Oh, you're, oh that's, you're not you're did too good you for were, the turkey? Wait, did you say you wanted... You said we're going to get... Wait, just one of them's not, not good enough for you? <laughs> I see what's going on. You can tell <laughs> I, from here I how thought, long... I misunderstood, <laughs> okay? I thought Brett said <laughs> we're going to get Jay a bird. See? He's going to hop out of the truck. And I, I'm so confused, I guess. Do you want to see if it has a doink or not? It doesn't, I don't think. Can I have the... Can I see? A doink. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think? Is that one needs to hike or no? <laughs> sure. I wasn't, I just wasn't being selfish. Right, I we'll thought keep you that one of mine. So that, okay. we're, this is all about you, first of all. We're, I'm, I'm second rate citizen. Where that bird is headed oh. is where we doubled that time. <laughs> yeah. Because that was right in this woods, but they just logged all that out. I remember. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's going to go super slow. We're in here. It is the night before mass season. Nikki's up tomorrow. Um, I've been in here the last few days scouting. There's a bunch of birds in here. They actually just logged a bunch of this timber out and it's really, really open. So we're kind of sneaking up in here as quietly and slowly as we can because we don't want to bump any of these birds. Um, kind of a dreary night. I think they'll still gobble on the limb. Our birds are pretty vocal. So we're gonna sneak up in here and see what we can find and what we can get roosted. But a pile of turkeys in here for sure. Just we gotta be super slow and calm and vigilant. I've been drinking monsters. It's not good. Brett 
Pets informed us that he scared these turkeys for three days in a row. <laughs> Two days. No, days we made it three. Yeah. So Come hunt here. Pretty sweet. I think they're in the timber. I, I think they're in the timber. There's another dark spot about 20 feet above him. I can't tell if it's a turkey. Yeah, right. the truck. We never had to go anywhere. <laughs>
missing. I missed. Because why? Because your husband and Brett were pressuring you to shoot. No. I couldn't feel my hands. <laughs> I mean, honestly, like to hold it up well, yeah. and I, I don't think I had it quite right. It was a long encounter. I kind of teared up and a little sad. It's alright, we will Yeah. It happens. Got the adrenaline going, though. You got a good show. Yeah, it was, there's a lot around. But yeah, I'm very sad. I don't know what the plan is now. <laughs> oh, it's fine. That was tough. You had like a little window to shoot him in. Well, I didn't feel the best about it, to be honest. And, and like I was saying to John, my left hand, I truly couldn't feel holding it. I just feel like I didn't really have a good grip on my on my gun, you know what I mean? Well, it sounds it's, stupid, but it well it's tough when you're sitting still for 40 minutes and you can't move. You don't usually have six yeah. driders with ten sets. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it was neat to, to watch all of them. And So, we had one that came up pretty stealthily, honestly, about 25 yards out is what you told me anyways, and I felt, I felt like I could have had a shot, but my husband was not on him with the camera, so That's he got a little, well, and two, he got a little squirrely, and he was, he was kind of in and out really fired. quick, so. John or the turkey? <laughs> Both of us. When you pop, when they pop up over their eyes like that, you only have a few seconds to shoot them if you don't have a decoy up. So he came up right over there. We're sitting right here. Yep. It's a comfy there's spot. There's not much between us and him, so no. he didn't see a hand and saw. It would have been sitting there. He. It would have been he great. Got out of there pretty quick, but. Right. <laughs> Onto the. There's yeah. Another one got one up there, so up right. there I think. Let's get to it. But these ones calm down a little bit. We've had a traumatic morning. Like <laughs> la la la, yeah. I love it when you call me, senorita. La la la. That's ridiculous. <laughs> get out of here.
Just take your time, relax, we're all good. They're all right there. Just relax, we're all good, take your time. I don't. Wait, wait. Mm. Go shoot him. What no. do you mean? Go get up and use the gun. Go help him. My bad. Oh. Unfortunately, we had to finish that, that guy off there. I think that gun's hitting low, which is our fault. We should have. Should have been better prepared. Should have checked it yesterday. Especially after yesterday, after you had issues. So that's our bad. We're experienced hunters. We should know better than that. Um, this is turkey hunting, unfortunately. Sometimes it happens. The two things we can do in the future is you can shoot way more. And get just, I don't think you made bad shots, don't get me wrong, but to feel completely comfortable, even more so than you are now. And you've shot birds before. You've shot a handful of birds in the past. So it's not like you have no experience, but. The more you do this, the better you get at it. And if the other thing is just check that gun. Even if you think, hey, I feel like I really squeezed it off and I made a good shot, but didn't hit the bird good or missed, check your gun. Um, you know, red dots aren't perfect. Sometimes they get bumped or maybe off. I know John did shoot this gun, but we really should have shot it yesterday after, after she had some issues, so. And it's obviously not something that we take lightly. No, it's no. Something like um, but it happens when you're turkey and it happens. Not like we took a bad shot. That bird was probably inside 30 yards, standing there in the wide open cut. And you had time, so it's not like, it's just we should have been better prepared with the gun. These things happen. Let's go check them out. Either way, it was a cool hunt. We called them right in off the limb. Didn't look like they were with any hens. All right, let's go see them. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. This is 27th grade. I'll tie her up. Must be those orange fingernails you're struggling with. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're legal. Okay. Yeah, I'm saying, no. Those are decent Toenails, I guess. The last the last evening mm -hmm. here at camp. Got sushi? That's good. I know. <coughs> Alright. Are we rolling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so we are racking up. Yeah, racking, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. racking up. Racking up. Racking up. Rack them up. Okay. So we're wrapping up Nikki's hunt here. She's gotta head home, gotta go back to work. It was a short one, just a couple days. Um Definitely a challenging hunt, I'd say. Yeah. Right? A so lot we, of learning. Yeah, we, um, you know, this is one that sometimes we think twice about putting out there because it's obviously not an ideal situation. But we want to show everybody that that's hunting and that's what happens. And hopefully, we, you know, you guys can learn from it. We learn from it. That gun, we confirm it's hitting low. Um, you know, that's our fault. Nikki made good shots. We really should have been more prepared, made sure that gun was dead on. That's a really important thing, especially when you have a red dot. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. I, I, it, we shouldn't make that mistake. We know better. Um, it's really not fair to anybody involved, um, the turkeys included. So hopefully you learn from that. Make sure that point of aim and impact with that red dot is dead on and you know, you're know you super confident. Things happen, you can bump the you know the red dot or whatever. We should have checked it after the first you know shot and uh, we didn't and you know, we got the bird. I guess it ends well. Um, we learned from it. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you can take something away from it and you learn from it like we did. And uh, I think our luck will turn around here in the next couple days. And uh, we'll get back on the, on the train and keep rolling. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I think what's next, New Hampshire? Maybe another mass hunt, but definitely New Hampshire. So 
We'll see you on the next one. Hey, nice shirt. <laughs>